Welcome to this new video. This video is about three tasks in Power BI. This is a Power BI DAX function. So three tasks comes to play when there is no relationship between two tables, but they are having some common keys between them so that we can relate it. There is no active relationship or an active relationship between these tables. So in this example, you can see there is a calendar table and there is a purchase table. And in the purchase table, two dates are there. Calendar table, there is one date column, but these two are not related in any way. So of course, in Power BI modeling, definitely you will be creating an active relationship between date and purchase date and an inactive relationship between purchase date and payment date but if there is no relationship between these two and how we can filter the dates with respect to the revenue or with respect to the payment product details so we can use this free task function so three task applies the result of a table expression as filters to columns from an unrelated table so it works when there is an unrelated table so best for use with the relationship does not exist between the tables if there is a relationship which does not exist between these tables so definitely if you have multiple relationship between the tables involved consider using user relationship instead so instead of uh, rounding up and taking up these three tasks basically every time we use a, an active relationship and if there is an inactive relationship between both the tables we use definitely we use user relationship that is why three charts is not that much important so like most of the functions this function is also not supported for the use of direct query mode when used in calculated columns or row level security rules so now in this example you can see okay with the use of three tasks we have taken the uh, revenue with respect to the purchase date and payment date and without any relationship with itself and we have put it in a clustered column chart and we will do the same in this example also and of course we are having a slicer here we're having two tables here and we will be having two clustered charts here and first in the slicer we are going to place the year from the calendar we will take the date and from date we will make it a hierarchy and we will I have already formatted the slicer on the visual that's why I have already created it now we will take away the month year and day and we will create only the year so the all the year is displayed in the slicer so all the values will be filtered with respect to this year and now we will create a column here and in this column we will be giving the date and the date will be the month yeah we have given the month since both the tables are not related of course we are having a total revenue and that is sum of purchase revenue and since it is not related definitely filter won't work so if you create it everything will be the sum of the total revenue we need to get the filter between all these states and we need to get the filter with respect to the years also so if you are clicking 2016 we need to get the filter of 2016 january so here since there is no relationship it is not showing so we will try to create a free charge and that will be with respect to the purchase date so we are having two dates here payment date and purchase date we will create both with respect to the revenue so first we will create with purchase date so we will take the create the measure so we will select the purchase date revenue by purchase we will name it as purchase revenue equals to we can use the calc so purchase revenue is equal to calculate sum of revenue and now in the filter section we are going to give the three task function three tasks we need to give the column for this first parameter so for getting the column values you can give the values and you can give the column which which date it is calendar date and the calendar date should be treated as which date that is the purchase date purchase order purchase date so now with the help of this three task function we have created a relationship between calendar date and the purchase table and with respect to that we have added the sum of the revenue also and we will see whether it is working we can select this table and we will select this purchase date also now we can see everything has been filtered with respect to the month now if you select 2016 it will filter with respect to 2016 year the same thing you can use here also you can select the month and you can select the purchase date and of course without any relationship we have created a cluster chart also now we will see whether it is working for different year actually for 2015 there is only one entry that's why it is showing like that all the other year it is filtering with respect to that now in this table we can filter with, with respect to the year itself and of course first we will select the total revenue without any relationship and now we will select the purchase revenue and this is with respect to the year and this is with respect to the month of course we can select the slicer and change it also for 
18 it is like that so here also you can select it with respect to the year and of course we got it now one good thing for this is that instead of using a user relationship or doing anything like that or making an invalid or invalid relationship you can directly use the same function to get the payment data also so we have taken the purchase date now you can take the payment data also without any relationship between them you can right click here take the new measure and revenue payment revenue equals the same function calculate sum of revenue and then we will go to tetras and here you need to give the first parameter as column so we can take the values of calendar date itself because we are joining with the same calendar date and then we will be giving the payment date so now we will be getting the payment date with respect to the revenue and we will see how it is filtered so here we can select the payment date so these are the payment dates of revenue this will differ because the payment date will be post the purchase date and here also in this year table also we can select the payment date so we can see the difference between them and here in this cluster chart we can select the payment date also so we can see the difference between these two and here also in this with respect to the year we can select the payment date so we can see the difference between the purchase and payment date with respect to the year also now if you want you can select the filter with respect to the size or how much the difference is here from january to december the month you can see the values separately this one will not change because that is with respect to the relationship we have so this way you can if there is no relationship between two tables you can create a virtual relationship kind of function using the the trust where you will treat one column in a table as another column in another table and it will be creating a, almost like a virtual relationship between the two and with that you can create how many measures or columns you want of course we won't since there is a relationship since and when in the modeling section there will be relationship between the tables anyway we won't use the trust because in the modeling itself we will be given the relationship between these two tables so in this modeling itself when we will be definitely given the relationship between these two tables so one will be an active and another will be an active relationship and definitely we will be using the user relationship function for the inactive relationship but if suppose if nothing is there you can use this tetras function also so that that will be a handy function for you when there is no relationship between two tables hope this will help you thank you have a nice day